I have dreamed of having a co-pilot that was more informed, but also less sarcastic than me. Add this summarized order data to the message and remove that terrible joke. It's here, Microsoft 365 Copilot. And it's gonna transform how we work at a day-to-day -day basis. More than just emails and Teams messages, Copilot extends securely with connectors, cloud flows, and plugins so users can access, update, and transform their data. Find out how you can use Power Platform to teach Copilot a thing or two. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Toppers from the PowerCat team, and today I'm here with James. Hey, James. How's it going? It's going all right. I, might, I mean, my head's spinning a little bit from the announcement today, right? Microsoft 365 Copilot announcement in itself was was huge, but but now we're learning that we can extend it with what we're already doing with Power Platform. This, this is about bringing a new uh, wave of chat copilots that are similar from what you might use for GBT today, but it's bringing it to your M365 productivity surface. And it's going to transform how we work at a day-to-day -day basis because it's going to be able to reason over your company's data, your personal productivity data, including your documents, emails, calendar, charts, meetings, I could go on and on. It is ChatGPT for your work, your co-pilot, co-worker, directly within Teams and the other M365 apps that you use every day. And now with this announcement, I mean, it, it, you described all of the data has access to really like everything in, you know, that I, that's involved with my work. But do I also have access to like those GPT capabilities? Like I could say, give me my sales data, but format a table and convert all the currencies. It's not only that that data is available, right? It's not about just ask the copilot a question, get a specific answer with that data. As you called out, there's large language models that are powering this. So you actually can have that rich summarization and context you get with ChatGBT. You have a true conversation, not just point question, point answer. And now that business data is a part of that business conversation in these M365 copilots. This, this really does make all of your Dataverse data so accessible, right? Across your tenant, all of your Dataverse environments are accessible through this, right? It's not about just searching business data and grounding those questions. It's also about taking action. And so with the announcement of plugins as part of that extensibility story for the Microsoft Copilot system, these experiences have the potential to enable skills for any business data, any business action, any business workflow. Part of that accessibility story, those, those plugins will include Power Platform connectors and flows and Dataverse plugins that will automatically function as supported as plugins within the M365 Copilot ecosystem. So if you're an information worker who, you know, as a part of your day-to-day, -day, you're looking up data in your CRM system, you're opening tasks in Jira, you need to summarize, summarize it all for your team, all of that is going to be able to be brought within this M365 Copilot services just by asking. So we're not talking about just Dataverse here then. Other connectors too, custom connectors will work here? Yes, our, our goal is that any custom connector any instant workflow and Power Automate that's enabled, yeah. any Dataverse plugin any, or any action can be Copilot enabled. And what do I need to do to enable my custom connector to work here? And I think that's I think that's a really great question and one that is we're actively working on. But our goal, and honestly where it stands right now, is you don't have to work very hard at all since we're taking the same approach effectively as ChatGPT today. And so what we're focused on right now is how do we deliver great experiences to help with the automation and tuning of that other metadata that describes essentially what those APIs can do within the conversational interface. Um, and then building tools to help troubleshoot and, and really try to bring some of the other efforts that are happening across Microsoft to bear to the low code ecosystem here. All right, James, this, this, sounds, this sounds magical. Help us understand what's possible. Um, could I use this to ask questions of my ERP system? Absolutely. Uh, update customer orders and dynamics? That's right. How about contact records in Salesforce? That's easy. Yes, again. All right. So, uh, so you're bringing something pretty magical. The natural next question, at least for this show, is... Uh, what about licensing tables? Licensing tables? <laughs> <laughs> you promised me you'd give me one of those mugs. Um, so... <laughs> The, the, the short answer is that we're working to get it right right now, and I'm not ready to share the specific details, but 
What I am excited to share is that the, the, there is an early access program right now for M365 Copilot, right? And all the accessibility story uh, that we're going to talk about there is going to be coming very soon to that program. And so stay tuned. So now let me ask you the question that we're going to get from our customers, yep. right? How do I control this and govern it? How does my existing power platform governance apply here? That the data is not leaving the Microsoft ecosystem and the promise data boundaries and protection that have already been put in place. Our goal is that it inherits the existing data governance that you have around your data, right? And with the, the really the user of this assistant, this conversational experience is going to have that control to initiate um, and stop or take action before anything is actually committed or, or done on their behalf by, by the co-pilot. Truly a co-pilot. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know the next question because we get it all the time. Yeah. Uh, is this model being trained on my sensitive business data? Yeah. The, and, and the answer is no. The, these models are pre-trained, right? And they're running within the Microsoft cloud, right? So your data is not going to be used to train AI for other customers or for it's going to chat GBT, right? This is part of the beauty around building on the Microsoft Copilot system. You're going to get content moderation for malicious prompts. You're going to get hallucination filtering. You're going to get fairness and inclusive policies. And you're going to benefit from all the work we're doing to red team and do adversarial testing right now around kind of malicious endpoints. It's nice. all going to be done for you just by building on top of our platform. So what should people do to get started, right? This is exciting. What do we do next to play along? You know, check out the Power Ops Copilot, check out Power Automate Copilot, check out all the Power Platform Copilots and get started building because it, this is going to be the same foundation that's it's going to be applied applied when we go and enable some of these integrations within the M365 Copilot system, right? And if you're a developer or, you know, helping citizen developers, you know, check out building custom connectors, right? Because that's yeah. going to be part of like how uh, we're going to enable some of the custom extensibility for every customer. And if you're coming as like a partner or an, an ISV or another company, you know, consider consider building a power platform connector. We have great documentation around how you can get started because the goal is that all of these are going to be co-pilot enabled. Yeah, now is the chance to get your data playing in Copilot. There's more information in the description. James, thanks so much for being here. Let's hear your feedback in the comments down below. I can't wait to hear about it. Talk to James below. Thanks for watching, everybody.